Hey there, this is Brad from FirstSightGuide.com, and in this video, we'll be comparing WordPress and Joomla, two free content management platforms. I'll run you through the basics, and then I'll give you a few tips on which one should work best for you. If you're ready, let's get started. First off, both WordPress and Joomla are what you'd call content management systems, or CMS for short. They allow us to use a piece of software to manage our website instead of having to learn and put together all of the different coding, images, text, and colors that are incorporated into building a website. The main difference between the two platforms is that WordPress is primarily a blogging platform that helps you easily manage posts and pages, while Joomla is more of a community portal. Both overlap in certain areas and allow you to install plugins and themes to change up the features as well as the look and feel of your new blog or website. Here's what WordPress looks like right after your installation. The default theme is installed, which has the sidebar on the left, which includes your site title, tagline, and the widget area. And your content area, which includes your latest blog posts, is published on the right. The dashboard is quite intuitive and allows for a lot of customization, as well as adding new posts, pages, adjusting your theme and the appearance of your blog, as well as installing new plugins and more. As for Joomla, the setup is similar but a little different. This is the default theme that shows up after your installation. Here's your site title, your header banner, the home page content down here, and then the widget area on the right with the popular tag section, latest articles, and the login form. Behind the scenes, the dashboard is a little more complicated and will take some time to learn and get used to. There's a lot you can do in here, like adding a new article, adjusting your menus, managing users, and incorporating different components and extensions. Joomla is a little more complex and it'll take more time to learn, but it's great for building a community site to attract users to sign up and even contribute on the forms or add in their own articles. It comes with more features right out of the box, but it can take some time to understand how to include them on your new website. Put simply, if you're looking to start a new blog, WordPress is probably your best bet. It's simple to get started, easy to learn, and you can customize your installation to be more like a blog or a website based on the features you're looking to include. Plugins are easy to search for and install, as well as different kinds of themes to adjust the look and feel of your new blog. Speaking of which, we have a full free guide on how to start your own WordPress blog easily and affordably today. Just hop on over to firstsiteguide.com to get started. We'd also be happy to help you out with any questions. Take care and enjoy starting your new blog.